The Blazers returned to Moda Center on Tuesday as they demolished the New Zealand Breakers 106 to 66. And a key reason for that demolishment was Tamani Kamara, a guy who was a bit of an afterthought in the Damian Lillard trade saga as he just got tossed in alongside DeAndre Ayton en route to the Portland Trail Blazers. In regards to Drew Holiday, Malcolm Brogdon, Robert Williams III, Damian Lillard, DeAndre Ayton, Tamani Kamara did not have anywhere close to the name recognition as any of those guys, but he could be a very valuable piece for the Portland Trailblazers going forward, and he showcased some of the reasons why last night. Now on Twitter, I have declared myself the Tamani Truther. I didn't know a ton about him compared to other second round prospects when he was coming into the draft. I knew he played for Dayton, had some decent size, defensive potential, and had developed his three-point shot where he was 36% his last year in college. But beyond that, I wasn't really sure how to feel about him. But when he played for the Phoenix Suns in Summer League, he looked phenomenal, averaging almost 17 points per game. He shot the three ball well, made timely cuts, is somewhat athletic, finishes around the rim. He's a, he's a legitimate player. And in training camp, after the deal to Portland, Blazer coaches have apparently liked what they've seen. The reports are that Tomani has looked great in training camp. And then he comes out last night and puts up 13 points in 14 minutes. He's five for six from the field, two for three from three, also has four boards and three assists. He made a couple really nice passes. He knocked down threes, had a couple impressive finishes around the rim, and also is a guy that can maybe play some defense at the NBA level. He's a really well-rounded player, and last night his debut definitely caught some eyes. A lot of Blazer fans were super excited, saying Tamani's a beast, Tamani is him, Tamani is going to be maybe the backup power forward next season, because right now it seems like there is a battle for that spot between Jabari Walker, Chris Murray, and Tumani Kamara. Maybe even throw Kevin Knox in there if you want to. Tamani Kamara made a statement last night that that job should be his. Now, of course, it's just one preseason game against an NBL team, so let's not read too much into it. But this is exactly what we saw in Summer League, and apparently last night is exactly how he's looked in training camp so far. Now, what I'm really looking forward to is seeing how he looks against a real NBA team, and it's actually his old team. The next game, the Blazers play the Phoenix Suns, and it's funny how Kamara already has an old team, despite being a rookie who's never played an NBA game yet. But maybe he has some sort of motivation. In the end, he's going to have to show that he can drive and finish against bigger, stronger NBA caliber players instead of just guys in the NBL. It is a little bit of a different challenge going up against the biggest, fastest, strongest players in the world. And some guys struggle to adjust to that, especially guys that are like six foot seven, six foot eight that are used to having a combination of athleticism and size that they can use to dominate. But man, I'd be lying to you if I said that I wasn't rooting for Tamani Kamara to win the backup power forward job because I truly think he's one of those guys that gets drafted late in the second round because he's too old and doesn't do anything flashy offensively, but is so well-rounded, turns into a really solid NBA role player. And this is the type of role player that this young Blazers core might need going into the future. So with Jeremy Grant potentially getting traded next season, which would open up a ton of minutes at the power forward spot, I truly think Tamani Kamara will be playing some rotational minutes at some point next season. And I truly think he can be impactful. So if you're able to catch the game last night, let me know what you think about Tamani Kamara's debut. If not, just stay tuned for tomorrow as we should hopefully get a chance to see him against the Phoenix Suns. And I'm looking forward to seeing how we can build off this impressive preseason debut. With that said, I'll catch you next time. Until then, as always, peace out. Go Blazers.